So you want to show your PS5 controller or your Xbox One controller as an overlay on your streams. It's actually pretty simple. Let me go ahead and show you how it works. And so for this to work, I'm assuming that you guys already have a PC or a laptop that you're streaming off of. So you're going to need your PS5 controller and the USB-C cable that it came with. You're going to connect your USB-C cable to the controller and then that to your PC or your laptop to get this to work. For like 99% of you guys out there, you shouldn't need to download any other software to get this to work. But if your controller is not update or for some reason is not working, uh, I will show you where you can go and download some software. That will be at the end of the video for all that troubleshooting stuff. So the website we're going to be using is called gamepadviewer.com and all the links are down in the description for you guys. And they have different designs for the controllers. They have the white one and they have the black one. You can choose whichever one you want to have as an overlay. Once you figure out which controller you want to go ahead and make an overlay, what you're going to do is come up to the URL on the browser and just copy that. And then in OBS, you want to come down and select the scene that you usually use for your streams, of course, and then add a new browser source. Now we're going to call this browser source PS5 controller just to be simple. And we're going to go, go ahead and hit OK. And in this browser source, you're just going to go ahead in the URL and paste that link that we just copied right here and down where it says height and width you want to go ahead and just make it a square so what we're going to do is just do 800 800 and that pretty much is the perfect size here for the entire controller um and there you go now you have the source in there and you should be able to you know scale this up and put it wherever you want and so when you bring the game up you should be able to see the controller here now if you followed all of those steps correctly you, you should see here that you have everything working perfectly fine. You can see that I am changing everything on the screen and the buttons are correlating perfectly. Should work just like this. And it's really that simple, or is it? A few issues that you can run into when setting this up because I, I sure did. I, I ran into a bunch of issues, honestly. So the first troubleshooting issue might be the issue that you have multiple controllers plugged into your PC and you need to change the player of which controller is actually being picked up by your computer. So if you did everything right and you plugged in your controller into your PC and you came up to a screen that looked like this where there's no buttons on it, but once you press any buttons, it, the interface comes up, but nothing is working. This was happening to me. If you go to the original website with your controller plugged in, you're going to see different controller options that you can choose. And then at the very top here, you're going to see player one. Now, obviously you're thinking your controller is player one, but if you're anything like me, you may have two controllers plugged in or like one controller plugged in at all times. I always keep an Xbox controller plugged into my PC for whenever I just want to pick up and play PC games with a controller. That controller that was always plugged in is going to be player one. So all you actually need to do is switch to player two. And once you switch to player two, now the PlayStation controller is your input. But changing the player type on that website actually doesn't change your PS5 overlays player type. So in order to change this player type, you have to go back to this website here that you're using for the overlay, come up to the URL and you see this P equals one. You want to change the one to whatever that player type is for your controller. For my, in my case, I only have one other controller plugged in, so I'm going to change it to two. And then you want to go ahead and hit enter to refresh the page. And then as you can see, there it is. You have your player two controller working. All right. So I already hear you asking. Samurai, that's cool and dandy and all, but I want my Xbox controller to show up on the stream. I got you, fam. Check it out. So you want to go back to that original website where you're going to find all the different kind of overlays for the different kind of controllers uh, on for other systems, PS3, PS4, uh, GameCube. So instead of copying the URL at the top, we're going to click these three little lines here to get the side menu to pop up and we're going to go to generate URL. And from there, we're going to select the correct player that is uh, currently plugged into. Click this URL here to copy it. Come back into OBS. Go ahead and paste that URL in here, just like we did last time for the PS5 controller. Make that 800 by 800. And there you have it. It's actually disconnected right now, but once you start moving something on the controller, pressing a button, you should get that overlay to pop up just like this. Now, if all else fails and you're just having issues connecting your PS5 controller to your 
PC or your laptop and you have it updated, the firmware on your controller is updated. There are a couple softwares that you can download to get your computer to recognize your PS5 controller. The first app that you need to download is .NET 6.0 Runtime. Once you have Runtime installed, which is a pretty quick install, all you have to do is download DS4 Windows Go ahead and unzip it and then go into the folder and you want to click on DS4 Windows to open up the application. And you should get a window that looks like this that pop up. You want to go ahead and install both the drivers. And after you get those drivers, you should have a window pop up that looks like this and then go ahead and hit start. It should automatically pick it up. But if it doesn't, you hit that start down there and you should see your controller pop up here. And now you have your controller plugged in to your PC and it should be able to see your PC this way. But if you're having any issues connecting your PS5 controller, I wanted to go ahead and add this quick fix for you guys. Now, if you're still having any type of other issues, go ahead and leave your questions down in the comments and let me know. And I will try to figure out a way to solve your issues. These are the only fixes that I know currently so far, but if you're running into any other issues that I haven't covered in this video, let me know down in the comments. And if you got any value out of this video, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video for more content like this. And if you're wondering how to do this without a PC or a laptop, don't worry fam, I, I already got you covered. Check out this video over here where I show you how to stream from your PS5 to your phone and then from your phone anywhere you want. Um, that In that app, you can also like put overlays and stuff. So like go over and check out that video and I'll see you guys over there.